Okay, guys, we are going to finish out this semester with a little unit on matrices and translations. And we're going to start today with matrices. Um, this unit will take us um, over a two-week period, and then we will worry about um, our final after that. Uh, this is Some of this stuff will come from the book, but um, you're going to have a packet in class. And it's going to look a lot like this one. I'm just going to pick examples from this version, and um, you can write them down as notes. And then... Um, We'll, uh, I'll give you the rest of your work in class. So first of all, these are all matrices, these um, bracketed lists of numbers. They're just a way to organize and arrange numbers. Um, and they'll have applications. One day when you get to Mr. Knapp's linear algebra class, you will work with matrices a lot. We'll try to do a, a application or two um, that just shows you that they're better, they're, you know, there's something other than just a bracketed set of numbers. But let's look at this one for just a second, um, just for some general info. Um, matrices have rows and columns. So the rows go horizontally and the columns go vertically. And you name the dimensions of a matrix RC, like RC cola, R by C. So this is a three by two matrix, three rows by two columns. And um, the columns are vertical, just like the columns on the front of a building. So that's a way to remember that columns go that way. Okay, so we're going to have three goals today. We're going to add, subtract, and multiply matrices. Um, adding, Technically, adding and subtracting is the same thing. Let me just start with this example at the beginning. It's probably the easiest thing we've done all year. When you add two matrices, first of all, they have to have the same dimensions because every number has to pair up with another number. So these are two matrices that are R by C. This is two rows and one column. So these are both two by ones. If the matrices don't have the same dimensions, then that's considered undefined, which we'll see in just a second. But if they do have the same dimensions, then you just add them. So negative 3 and 3 is 0. Negative 2 and negative 4 is negative 6. So there you go. That's adding matrices. Number 2 here, for example, this is undefined because you don't have matching dimensions. So that's easy enough. And then let's look at number three before we move on to a different topic. In number three, anytime you subtract a matrix, this negative sign applies to every term in the matrix. So what I have is negative four minus negative 2, so that's a plus 2, and then plus 5. So negative 4 plus 2 plus 5 is 3, I think. Uh, yeah. All right, so at each point, make sure that this negative distributes to all six parts in that matrix. That's how you subtract a matrix. Okay, so, whoops, that was 3. All right, so my next slot, this, this position here, it's going to give me, let's see, I've got 1 minus 5, which is negative 4, plus 1, which is negative 3. Um, and my next spot down, I've got negative 2, plus 6, which is 4, plus negative 2, which is 2. And then I have negative 3. Minus 6 is negative 9. Minus 5 is negative 14. Um, negative 5 plus 1 is negative 4. Minus 2 is negative 6. And then 2 minus 5 is negative 3. Minus 2 is negative 5. Okay, so I think I got all those right. And you can tell that the um, process here is not hard. It's just a matter of doing all these little calculations. And even if you're being careful, it's easy sometimes to miss one. Which brings up my next point. All of this stuff that we're doing is doable on a calculator. So you need to get familiar with your matrix menu. On my particular version of the calculator, it's second and x to the negative one. So I'm going to show you how to, to make a matrix and then operate with one. So if you go over to edit, I'm going to edit matrix A. You can see I had one in there before. And we've actually done some of this before when we solved equations. I'm going to work this number 3, and that way I can check and see if my answer was correct. So my matrix A 
is going to be rows by columns. This is a three by two. So just hit three, enter, two, enter. And it sets up the three by two. And then you can just type in your numbers across the rows. So now I've made matrix A. So my first one's A. If you go back to matrix, you can edit B. It's also going to be a three by two. And it's negative two, five, negative six, six, negative one, five. And then one more I'm going to make, I'm going to call this one C. Remember your edit menu is where you go to change them or make them. Your When it's unnamed, that's when you go to use them. So let's see, this is going to be a three by two as well. So three inner, two inner sets up the dimensions. Five, one, negative two, negative five, negative two, negative two. Okay, when you start to use them, get back out to your main screen and just start fresh. And now what I want to do is A minus B plus C. So if you go to your matrix menu, if you just select A before you go over to edit, here's A. I want to subtract from that B. So every time I go in, I can choose a new one. And I want to add to that C. And here is A minus B plus C. 3, negative 3, 2, negative 14, negative 6, negative 5. So I didn't make any mistakes earlier. I was kind of nervous that I had, but I made it through all right. All right, so, so, so far we've got adding and subtracting. The dimensions have to match. If they don't, it's undefined. And a little bit about um, calculator. All right, so now let's go down to multiplying. See, the rest of this page is adding. Next page, I've got a few more adding. By the way, if you have a scalar multiplication, which would be like this, you can multiply a matrix by any number by just kind of distributing that number throughout the parts. That's not the kind of multiplying I was talking about. That's the easy way to multiply matrices, where you're just multiplying a number by a matrix. So this would end up just being, you know, negative 2, negative 2, negative 2, negative 5, minus... 25, negative 10, 5, negative 10. So that's not really the point here. The, um, you should know that, but here's when they get more interesting. Okay, so let's, let's look at one or two of these. First of all, when you add matrices, the dimensions have to match up perfectly. When you multiply matrices, they don't have to match up perfectly, but not every matrix will multiply by every other matrix. There is something about the dimensions. So first of all, this is a rows by columns. This is a one by two. And this is a two by three. If you want to be able to multiply these two together, then the first one's columns has to match up with the second one's rows. Okay? So in this case, these will multiply because the twos match up. I could not flip-flop this order, all right? Matrix multiplication is not commutative, which means you can't multiply them, all right? We all know that 2 times 3 and 3 times 2 are the same. It doesn't matter the order. In matrix multiplication, the order does matter. So here's how you set it up. First of all, you check and see that you can do it. Write the first one kind of low and left. And then write the second one above it to the right. like this. Now your answer is going to be right here where they come together. The dimensions of the answer, by the way, in this case are going to be 1 by 3. Okay, the dimension, my 1 by 2 and my 2 by 3 go together to form a 1 by 3. We'll see if we can make a pattern out of that. All right, but every number in the answer is going to come from the intersection of the row and column. This column needs to intersect with this row to give us this number. All right, so how do we come up with a number? Well, the number is, in this case, negative 3 times 4, negative 1 times 1. Add those two numbers together and see what you get. So I get negative 12 minus 1 is negative 13. 
All right, it's the the negative three and the four. Those two locations multiply together, plus the other two multiplied together. So what's going to be here in the next slot is going to be negative three times one, which is negative three. Negative one times negative three, which is positive three. Negative three, positive three, adds up to zero. And then I get, let's see, I get three minus four is negative one. So those two matrices multiply together to give me negative 13, zero, negative one. All right, and just for kicks again, what if I edit? I'm going to pause real quick and so this video doesn't get too long. I'm going to get these in and then multiply them. Okay, so I just got done entering B. So if I go back to my main screen, I want to do A times B. So main screen, start fresh, matrix A times, you don't even have to put anything, matrix B. And we get negative 13, 0, negative 1. Okay, so just for curiosity, what if you try to do B times A? What do you think is going to happen? Error, dimension, dimension mismatch, which means that you can't multiply it the other way around. All right, so let's get out of there. All right, you're going to need to multiply these by hand. You're not going to always have um, a calculator. So... For now, a calculator is a good way to check, but um, make sure you know how to do it by hand as well. Um, I was going to do 14 because it had variables in it, but 14 is not going to work because 14 is a row by column that's a 2 by 3, and um, the, the next matrix in 14 is also a 2 by 3, and the 3 and the 2 don't match up. So I can't multiply those, so it's um, undefined. You can't multiply them. I am going to be able to multiply, let's see, this one's uh, 2 by 2, and this one is row by column, 2 by 3, so I should be able to multiply in 13. So let's do that as our last example. Um, I would encourage you right now to pause. Pause, please pause, and when you come back, um, pause and try to work this one, and then when you come back, you can check and see how you did. All right, you've paused, right? You've paused. Okay, so this one's answer. This first spot, spot 1-1, one, one, is going to be negative 6 plus 9, which is going to be 3. Then I'm going to get negative 18 minus 18, negative 36. I'm going to get 36 plus 15. 36 and 15 is, I believe, 51. Don't judge me. 51. I'm going to get negative 2 plus 12 is 10. Then I'm going to get negative 6 minus 24 is negative 30. And then 12 plus 20 is 32. All right, I think that's good. Um, you can see that if you try to do a lot of these steps in your head, it may be for, maybe it's just me, but it becomes easy to make a little mistake. So let me, I'm going to skip to my answers real quick. 3, negative 36, 51. 3, negative 36, 51. And then 10, negative 30, 32. Ten, negative thirty, thirty-two. Good. So it works. So doing good now. All right. So that's today's topic. We've got matrix addition and subtraction, which is a piece of cake. Um, and then matrix multiplication is the one that takes the most time. So that's the start of our matrix translation unit. I hope you have had as much fun as I have. I will see you in class. And Young is out. <laughs>